Hey, Brady. As a guy who was here last year on the line, I'm just curious, what has Austin Corbett brought to this offensive line? How has he made you potentially better? How has he made the his the rest of the line better? And, you know, you watch the film. I mean, he's having a pretty good year. Uh, what do you think his performance has been like this season? I know that's a loaded question, but, you know, whatever you can grab. Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, I think he's, uh, first off, he's having an incredible year. Um, it's been a joy to watch. He deserve he deserves every accolade that's uh, going to come his way. Um, your first part of the question, yeah, he's just he brings so much leadership to the room, and specifically for me, you know, he just really helps me out. He sees things, he sees things where maybe technically I'm lacking a little bit, and he's always coming up, coaching me, helping me out. Even on the sideline yesterday, I saw a picture. Um, he was just coaching me up. You know, we were looking at the iPad, you know, and he's like, hey, I saw a little something that, that could have helped me. And so he was just really, really good at, um, you know, helping me specifically with those technique things. Thanks. Anything else for Brady? Brady, I Brady. – I'll jump in here if you don't mind. Uh, you guys had that one snap yesterday with uh, Jordan on the field in addition to the other two guys. I mean, what's that like as an offensive lineman knowing there are eight of you out there on the field? Yeah, we were looking forward to that play, man. Anytime uh, you can have eight uh, big uglies out there, man, it's it's incredible. It was, it was fun when they you see all three of those guys running out. Uh, it was honestly a dream come true, you know, having eight guys out there. That was awesome. Is that something you want to see more of in the coming weeks? Oh, heck yeah. You know, I mean, obviously whatever coaches do the game plan, you know, we trust it, but but that's a fun package to have. And, you know, I hope it keeps coming. What do y'all call that? We call it uh, Arby's. We have the meats. <laughs> that's a lot. That's a lot of meat out there. That's what we, we were. We kept saying all week. So that was, that was fun. Go to Skylar Callahan. Hey, Brady. Cade's got some action in the backfield at fullback. And obviously, with you guys playing as well as you guys have up front, that's going to limit his opportunities on the offensive line. So just what do you think about him getting into that role, how he's played? And does it kind of surprise you kind of how light on his feet he is? Uh, it doesn't surprise me. You know, he's a great athlete. Um, you know, he also held the first down. He had 18 home runs, still has a record, and, you know, that tournament over there. Um, he's an incredible athlete. And I, he just has such a good – like, that's not easy to do. You know, he really hasn't played a lot of fullback. And to be able to have the feel for, like, his angles and, and his, um, like, his path is just – it's incredible to watch. And he's, he's done an incredible job job for us, and it's, it's been cool to watch. Have you ever played fullback? Um, you know, when I was in Little League, I think my last year of fullback, I played in uh, ninth grade was my last time playing fullback. So it's been a while. Anything else, guys? Is somebody, is yeah, somebody call one. taking for a All big right. guy touchdown uh, with that package? <laughs> we're, we're always politicking for that. You know, we love the big guy touchdowns. <laughs> it's, you never know. <laughs> Hopefully one day maybe we'll come. Hey, Brady, David Newton here. I want to know why you called it eight big uglies instead of eight big sexies out there. <laughs> you know, e either way, I, I mean, both terms, I, I would say are correct terms. You know, we got a little bit of ugliness in us, but we got a little bit of sexiness in us too, you know. So <laughs> uh, it's uh, both are great terms, you know. I wanted to ask you too about, about Sam. I mean, he's – Two and zero now. hadn't had a turnover. What What do you notice different about him than last year? Um, you know, Sam's the great thing about Sam. He is one of the most consistent guys I've ever been around. I don't know if I've noticed anything incredibly huge that has changed, but the guy is the same guy every day. That's what I really respect out of him. Whether things are going good, things are going bad, he's in there. He's first. In the building, last out. He's working hard. He's always getting his body right. He's he's getting to know the game plan like like no one else in the building. Like he's just an incredibly hard worker, no matter what. And and I always say when you work that hard, good things are going to come, and, and and they're coming. And I'm pumped for him. You know, great dude, great leader, great teammate. And I'm just excited to see his success. 
And it's interesting, though, you guys were so complimentary of PJ when he was in there. You guys were so complimentary of Baker when he was in there and how great they were doing. There's Sam all along kind of lurking back there doing what he does. How 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 was that? I mean, for him, what did you observe about the way he handled all that? Yeah, he was so supportive of, of those other two guys. You know, he was helping on the sideline, you know, giving them pointers, seeing what he's like seeing from his point of view, you know, he's, he's talking to us on O line, seeing what we're, we're going through out there. And so he was just a great leader um, as all of them were. I right? like those three quarterbacks, I have nothing but respect for those guys because they have been the same men every day and they've come to work every day, no matter what's going on. Thanks, Brady. We'll go to Mike Solarte and then Augusta Stone. Hey, Brady, Mike Solarte here. Uh, the the fact that the the offense has you know has gained this identity and uh, of you know run first and heavy handed, like Coach McAdoo likes to call it, as an offensive lineman, is there a better scenario for you to be able to play in? Let me try that again. I like to, you know, is there a better scenario for an offensive lineman to play in a better setup to play in when you guys are playing this heavy handed style of football? Oh, we love it up front. You know, if when we can run the ball like that, it just opens up so much. Um, it, it makes it easier up front for us. We're not just, you know, pass blocking the whole game. And so to be able to establish the, a run game is incredible. But at the same time, we know this is the league that you need to throw to win, to win games. So we're excited to do both. And um, But, yeah, it's been fun to be able to be physical and really come together as a unit and really, you know, have those games where you can run the ball like we did uh, yesterday and really control the the clock and the line of scrimmage and those things. Cause that's, that's what we want to do. You know, that's what coach always harps on to control the line of scrimmage. And, and that's what we're going to keep trying to do as we go forward. And then just to follow up, if you guys call that package Arby's, what sandwich on the menu best describes your group? You know, I, I don't know. I, you know, a little beef and cheddar, you know, that's that's salt. It's salt, you know, or just classic sandwich, you know. You can't you can't go wrong with a beef and cheddar, you know. <laughs> Thank you. Augusta. Hey, Brady, kind of following up on Mike's question there. I mean, we ask the running backs all the time, you know, do you feel that demoralizing feeling, you know, that Wilkes is always talking about when you're just continuously running it against uh, these teams? And I wanted to ask from your point of view, do you feel like that exhaustion? And and what what is that like? Just kind of knowing that, I mean, you know, you just keep giving it to them kind of like that. Yeah, we pr we pride ourselves in being in great shape. You know, we had incredibly hard fall camp. Um, we practice hard. And so we want that, you know, to have those 12, 15, 18 play drives where we're running the ball because we know we can outlast the defense. And, and, and that's really cool to know, you know, and, and seeing those guys get tired over there and, and, and we can just keep pounding the ball. It's, it's what you dream of as an offensive lineman. Was there a point in the game yesterday whenever you kind of knew, like in the fourth quarter, like we, we kind of have our way with them at this point? Yeah, I think that after we got stopped on the fourth down, you know, we came back and we had that long drive, scored a touchdown. I think that was a huge drive for us to bounce back and really to continue to establish uh, that run game. I think I don't know how many times we ran it, but it was a lot. And so that was that was a cool drive. Thank you. Yep. Go to Joe. Brady, who came up with Arby's? I think it was uh, Coach Cam. I, I, I might, I mean, I don't, maybe don't quote me on that, but I think Coach Camp was the original. He has, you know, he had the slide of the play and a bunch of Arby's uh, beef sandwiches and the weight of each guy and kind of the total amount of weight that's going to be out there. It's a lot of meat, you know. <laughs> How long ago was this? Uh, you know, I mean, we just put this uh, package in very recently. It's, uh, I mean, I Obviously, we've been doing a lot with Cade and Cam, um, but that Jay and the maker, that's, that's, that was recent. And then finally, I uh, wonder how you thought y'all did with the uh, silent snap count yesterday. Yeah, I think for the most part, we, uh, we prepared hard for it. We knew it was going to be loud. I feel like for the most part, we did a good job with it. You know, obviously not perfect, but – Felt like we all got off on the snap count a lot of time, like most of the time on time. And I didn't feel like we were behind on 
uh, a lot of the snap count, which is huge. You know, one of the most important things of the offensive line is getting off to the snap count. I feel for the most part we did that, so that was a huge success.